The solar storm has reached us. Earth is battered by 220,000 mile per hour solar winds. As forecasters st say, stay alert. The solar wind streaming from a coronal mass ejection CME from the sun slammed into Earth today at speeds of more than 220 miles per hour, 220,000 miles per hour, scientists announce. Now the stream of particles reaching our planet in the early hours of the morning after erupting from the sun on Saturday, the CME slammed into our Earth, causing a disturbance that left the planet's magnetic field reverberating. CMEs, as we know, are large explosions of particles in magnetic field that escape from the solar corona and are often associated with intense solar flares, like the one seen this weekend. And according to U.S. Space Weather Prediction, SWPC, the center, gives the event triggered a moderate solar storm that has now started to wane. Now, what we're watching here is, in fact, the video from NASA Goddard. It's a fiery looping rain on the sun from uh, about uh, 10 years or so ago. Very interesting video, as you can see. Tremendous activity on the sun here. This flare rains back down on itself. Concerning the recent CME that's uh, coming towards us, the astronomers were told to stay alert for auroras associated with the event. They'll likely remain visible across the parts of our northern hemisphere. And as the CME races towards us, our Earth, the associated shock front crashing into the Deep Space Climate Observatory DS Cover, Discover spacecraft. It sits about a million miles from our Earth. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Again, this is not the solar flare that's coming towards us. It's just one of the flares, a very impressive, mesmerizing flare, a moderate flare of the sun of about uh, 2013, NASA images of the sun. And uh, I just found this. I'll leave a link below for you so that you can see what is going on. Now, the CME racing towards our planet, the associated shock front crashing into the Deep Space Climate Observatory Discover, SWPC scientists, when clocking the solar winds at a speed of about 100 kilometers per second, or 223,694 miles per hour. The SWPC said the CME progression remains fluid at this time, and a G2 watch class of uh, solar flare is still in effect for the remainder of October 12th and a G1 warning continuing until 10 p.m. UTC. Solar or geomagnetic storms are ranking on a scale of G1 to G5. G1 considered minor and G5 considered extreme. This G2 storm coming towards us, the one experienced today can cause some minor fluctuations in power grid at northern latitudes. The G2 moderate storms can also cause some minor disturbances to satellites and spacecraft operations as well as communications. And this is what's coming at us now. Scientists warned yesterday radio and GPS operators may have some trouble with their devices, though the storm would mostly leave the Earth unharmed. The most visible effect of the CME arrival was the presence of intense auroras in the Arctic Circle, known as the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis, the phenomenon caused by the charged particles of gas traveling along lines of forces of our planet's magnetic field. Atoms and molecules of gas in the atmosphere are then excited by the streams of charged particles coming to us from the sun's coronal mass ejection. Astronomer Tom Kears explains these particles then slam into atoms and molecules in the Earth's atmosphere and essentially heat them up. And we call this the physical process excitation but it's very much like heating a gas and making it glow. According to the website Space Weather, auroras should remain visible in the Arctic skies tonight, and they could be seen as far down as New York, uh, New York and uh, Idaho. Website experts wrote, Earth's magnetic field 
is reverberating from the impact of the CME during the early hours of October 12th and the blow triggering a G2 class geomagnetic storm, actually a double storm which is only now subsiding more than 12 hours later. And the Arctic Sky Watcher should remain alert for auroras as Earth exists the CME's magnetized wake. Earth exits the CME's magnetized wake. Auroras so far have been reported across a number of U.S. states and may even be seen from the U.K. Northern lights are typically seen from the northernmost parts of Scotland as well. Unfortunately, poor weather and cloudy conditions may hinder you from watching this. And this is the latest on the coronal mass ejection and the space weather on Express UK by Sebastian Ketley. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.